Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to talk to you uh, about this lovely Lexus LS400. We haven't had an LS400 for quite some time. This particular car is a 1995 model. It was also known as the Series 4 LS400. And it's got the quad cam 32 valve V8 engine. which is just about as smooth as you can get in the automotive industry. This is a very good car. It's got the original keys and remotes from brand new. Every single service ever done on this car has been done at a Lexus dealership and it's always been in New South Wales. It's done 269,000 kilometres, which is absolutely nothing for an LS400. And I can say that because I've owned a number of LS400s, including a 1995 Series 4, the same model as this one. And one of the cars I sold had 439,000 kilometres. I think the Series 4 is the best looking LS. The LS400 came out in Australia in very, very late 1989, and there was the Series 1. Um, which got updated in 1992. It looks very similar. I think it just got a passenger airbag and a slightly thicker steering wheel and a few other things. Then you've got the Series 3, which got 16-inch alloy wheels and um, a number of other additions. And then you've got basically the Series 4, which is this model, which is known as the Series 4 or the Generation 2. It got a longer wheelbase, more power, and an updated interior and exterior. It also got rear entertainment controls where you can control the air conditioning and the radio and CD player. It's got the factory Lexus carpets which last forever. Very good quality. The leather is excellent for 269,000 kilometres. And what's also so amazing about these LS400 is the fuel consumption. Now people say, oh, if you're spending $6,000 on a car, you're going to spend all your money on fuel. Well, it's just simply not true. It's such a well-built engine and so well-balanced that they don't use much fuel at all. And it's comparable to a big four-cylinder or a six-cylinder. As I said, I personally have one. I could achieve around seven litres per 100 kilometres on the freeway. And around town, 12, 13 litres per 100 kilometres, which is absolutely fine. In fact, a diesel got traded the other day. It had been driven down from Queensland. It was a BMW and uh, said 8.2 litres per 100 kilometres. But it's a very nice car. And the LS400 is really what put Lexus on the map. And when the LS400 came out in 1989, BMW, Mercedes, all the manufacturers were almost in panic mode because this, the LS400 was just so much better than a 7 Series or an S-Class at the time. If you go on YouTube, I'm sure you can see it. You can, you can balance a coin on the engine with it running and rev it. I've, I did it previously when I, when I was younger and tested it out. As you can see, the 4 V8, 4 cam, 1 UZFE is the engine. It redlines at about 6,000 RPM. Apparently people do buy these cars or the engine from wreckers. They tweak the engine, they can rev all the way up to about nine or 10,000 revs, so they're not under any stress, which is why they're capable of such high kilometers. Again, if you go on YouTube, you'll find them overseas with 800,000 miles or 900,000 miles. They run it through a check. You know, they pull the engine apart and they can't see any forms of engine wear. So this is a car I can say that it's 269,000 kilometres is low because it's definitely low for one of these. When I sold my Series 4, which was silver, it was many years ago, it had about the same, had about 267,000 kilometres. Um, the Series 5 I had was the one with the big kilometres with the 439,000 kilometres, but it didn't worry me in the slightest. So I don't know how reliable they are. The air conditioning's ice cold. Springs to life. 
they're not warning lights, that's basically just your seat belt and telling me the doors open. Aircon's very cold, you can control the rear air conditioning from here. Turn that off, don't need that. There's your stereo and all your fader balancer. It's even got a subwoofer in the back. Six stack of CD player. Remember it was pretty special when it had the timber in there, it was a bit of a surprise back when they were new and you could open that. I hadn't seen that on a car before. It's got a four speed transmission. The Lexus was also one of the first cars to have the telescopic steering wheel. It's got memory electric seats. You can even control the seat belt height here. They really are incredible cars. And if you know if you are looking for a reliable, safe, surprisingly economical car, you should definitely come in and take a look at this. It's also got a big boot. It could even suit someone as a first car because it's safe. Open the boot. The service history is incredible. It's even got the original valet pack which I think has some gloves and, and you can put a cover on the seat so that they don't get anything on the leather. It's got the car care pack. I don't know if that's still usable or not. It's even got the original touch-up paint. A lot of the things which came out in Lexus in 1989 are still on Lexus today. If you go and look at a brand new one or a 2005 model, it'll have the exact same kit. It just slides into there. Nice big boot. And as they usually are, this LS400 was traded on Yes, another LS. Oops, I'll unlock that. So this was traded on a Lexus LS430. I think when I had mine, I went from a 93 to a 95 to a 98. And, um, oops. So it's got two stage locking, so it's just unlocked the driver's door. You press it once, press it once, press it twice, and then it unlocks the rest of the doors for you. It's absolutely stunning. It drives beautifully. And it's very rare to get a car with 269,000 kilometres with a perfect deal of book from you. It's registered until September 2017. And if you have any questions about this car, please feel free to give, you, give me a call. You can ask for me, I'm Philip. Uh, there's really not much I don't know about these LS400s as, as I've had a few of them. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video and we look forward to hearing from you.